Hello, everybody out there. What's going on? God bless you all. Praise God. Praise God. Yes, I've been missing out, you know, with the videos and all that. I haven't been on for a minute, but I am back with another revelation. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for instructing me and guiding me upon this revelation. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. All right, here we go, y'all. This revelation is on uh, Joel Osteen. Hmm. I was actually waiting for this one. I really was, and I got it. So this is what the Lord is saying. The Lord is saying to you this day, depart from the prosperity teaching that you have gone too far in depth with. Yes, my word and my scriptures demonstrate numerous ways of prospering, but my child, my word and my scriptures are based on order. My children must understand that I am a God of order. For your belief is required. Your time is required. Your obedience is required. As well as your deeds. Have I not said in my word that your faith is dead without works? My son, your teaching is nonetheless motivational speech. And it's okay to motivate my sheep. But it's something else when you base my word on that alone. My son, I have sat back long enough analyzing your ways and they are not of me. Prosperity is given unto the obedient. You cannot lead my children to drink from a fountain that's empty for I am the living waters. Jesus, glory to God. I am the living waters, my son. My children are to drink from my well and they will never thirst again. Your words proved to satisfy those who have itchy ears and they come back for more because you have applied that soothing cream. Jesus, you speak to my children um, in ways to make them feel content with their sins. I speak through my word to make my children feel convicted of their sins. For my son, this is the only way. That true change will come about by allowing my Holy Spirit to speak forth conviction. I am a loving father who chastens those that I love. My convictions stand firm to make room through the birth canal so my children can birth correction. Jesus, speak Holy Spirit. As you read my scriptures, you will see that the path to salvation is not easy, my child. I have not made it easy for anyone. If so, wouldn't I have made it easy for my son? I am asking you this day to hear my daughter as she proclaims to you to repent unto me for the misleading of my sheep. You have misled thousands of my children and I have been quiet. I would not sit back and be quiet anymore. Hear me, my son. The false messages are to end this day. And I have poured out my spirit into my daughter with an ongoing flow of the Holy Spirit, asking you to let go of your prideful and boastful ways and to come to me with humility. I have begun a work, a work like none has ever seen before. I have started to remove the false apostles, false prophets, false evangelists, pastors, teachers from my body. I will not tolerate this anymore. Have I not said in Mark 8.36, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world yet forfeit his soul? Why do you not speak on this? I am asking you to eradicate the false teachings of who I truly am and to enter the door of repentance. Hear me this day, my son. In conclusion of this revelation, the Lord has put forth Psalms 52 in my heart for you. Joe Austin. Amen. And God bless you all. I thank you for tuning in. Till next time. Love you.